Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David and I'm answering viewer questions off my community page. Nancy the Water Chick asks, um, Adam Schiff is sweating and what's going to happen? Um, this is in regards to Kevin McCarthy in the house bringing a censure resolution to the floor for a vote. Uh, this uh, censure uh, motion was tabled. It was tabled by the Democrats and 20 Republicans crossing over uh, against it. One of the Republicans who voted against it stated that it violated the 27th and I think the 18th Amendment. Basically, uh, you can censure Adam Schiff if you felt he was acting unethically, but you can't fine him $16 million on top of it. That's against the Constitution. So um, at least one person on the Republican side has apparently has read the Constitution. Um, <clears throat> the person who brought this lawsuit, her name is, um, I got up here, it's like Paulina Luna. It's a uh, Anna Paulina Luna. And she's a Republican representative from the glorious state of Florida and a MAGA Trumper. So there's a shock. Uh, Schiff's response was uh, the MAGA crowds are, I obviously scare them. And this is done to distract uh, the fact that Trump just got indicted this week and they're trying to change the news story around. Okay, so and uh, apparently while he was doing an interview on the steps after defeating this measure, she walked by and said she's bringing another one because why wouldn't you double down? Why wouldn't you just keep bringing up a losing proposition every time you can get? <sighs> yeah, because the Republicans didn't actually come up with a platform. They just obstruct everything. For entertainment purposes only, <clears throat> What's the current situation with Adam Schiff? How's he feeling about this situation? Well, go back this up a little bit. He's making plans. He's looking towards the next step. Maybe whether this is the next step of their attacks on him. Uh, oh, but he's also, you know, he's also running for Senate in California. He's looking to fill Dianne Feinstein's seat. So this could very well be his plans to leave the House of Representatives anyway on his way to becoming a senator. Crossed with the King of Cups. Um, he's been an emotional leader in the Democratic Party. He uh, led, I believe, the first impeachment trial. He was on the, on the House Intelligence Committee. He was a voice of reason for the shrill screamings of the Jim Jordans and the Devin Nunes's of the world that were run <laughs> Nunes running secrets to Trump <laughs> in the middle of uh, the, the meetings of the House Intelligence Committee. Yeah, so he's been a mature, reasonable person, and he's probably already looking at uh, the Senate. So he's just, I think he's enduring this because he has bigger plans. In the past, you have the Sun card. Absolutely, this man has been speaking the truth. He's been supporting the truth. He's uncovered truths. Um, he's held people accountable with his uh, position in the Intelligence Committee, as the chair of the Intelligence Committee in the impeachment trials, he's been a stalwart in the House. Current situation, the big plans, he's already, he's, he's looking at making the big plans. He's uh, looking at, he's a leader of the Democrats in the House, and he's looking to move over to the Senate, and he will become a leader in the Senate as well. Does that mean Chuck Schumer is going to give up his Senate majority? Eh, no. Not, not immediately, but it, it wouldn't be a real shock to see Adam Schiff be a Senate Majority Leader at some point in his career. Overarching uh, situation is the Knight of Cups. This is uh, a double-edged knight. This is the one where you know Schiff is reaching out to the reason, the folks on his side as as uh, as well as reasonable Republicans to say, hey, you know, this is craziness. You know that this isn't right. Uh, you know, don't don't advance this. And apparently a majority of the publicans aren't MAGA, but they sure seemingly vote with MAGA all the time. And this is also the MAGA just constantly bringing in the emotional drama, just trying to bring this man down by constantly bringing in more and more drama. The lesson to be learned is they aren't going to stop until they feel that they are victorious and have brought this man down. They are going to keep going with this one. And they may very well succeed in uh, the censorship of him. 
uh, again, you had that one guy saying, well, he voted no because there was a uh, unconstitutional fine on it, which means he'd vote yes if there was no fine on it. Lovely. Okay. But this could also be the end of these messengers too. You know, you, you do enough stuff, you end up hurting yourself. The outcome is temperance. It's patience. It's integration. Time is on Adam Schiff's side. They might be trying to bring him down, but time is on his side. Why? Because of Jack Smith's cases. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. How interesting. So um, there could, well, Adam Schiff certainly is fundraising off of this. I got the text message the other day and um, underneath it is something of value. So maybe in all these um, attacks on him, uh, you know how the, the Democrats don't want to attack the Republicans because the Republicans will say that they're being hypocritical or something. Well, I think Adam Schiff is going to be able to weaponize these attacks on him, whether it's fundraising or other uh, sympathy he's getting from um, from people who aren't radicalized. They're not looking at Adam Schiff thinking he's the bogeyman. So um, they're going to try. They're going to try. They're going to try. They're going to try their damnedest. But I don't think they're going to succeed. But let's throw and find out if they do succeed. Will they succeed in censuring him? Let's find out. All the cards in. All the cards are now in. Let's give him a shuffle. I'm going to turn off this overhead light. I'll be right back in a second. And I'm back. Uh, I was noticing getting a lot of glare off of the cards because I have an overhead light on in this bedroom. So I want to uh, minimize the glare so the cards are easy to see. I do recognize I have a, a camera up that I'm looking at right now. It, the, the camera is here, but I tend to look a little bit lower on the screen. Um, so I look, so I'm at least talking to somebody, even if it's myself. A time-honored tradition, my family, by the way. <laughs> but um, I do hold the cards up and then I see that there's glare as the camera tries to uh, sort out what's going on. By the way, that was the sun card that just popped up. Truth will be revealed. Will Adam Schiff be censured? Will, will uh, the, the Republicans successfully censure him or will he get away? Will he not be censured? Find out. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Are we back to Eileen Cannon here? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Uh, holding on to things that are valued. Being sensible. There's his planning card again. Queen of Swords and the Fool. And underneath is the Hanged Man. Um, I don't know if they'll be successful. Um... I think this is the uh, the Republican woman in uh, now. This is this is more Adam Schiff. This is more that uh, taking care of of business and taking care of things. This is the woman in Florida constantly trying to get him censured. So while he's trying to do his business in the House, she's trying to basically bring him down. And on one hand, he's you know, he's looking at leaving and it looks like he's going to be going on a new journey anyways. Uh, the hangman, I don't think he's going to willingly sacrifice himself to appease her and to help his, with running and, and stuff like that. But I think if, if he does get censured, this is not going to serve this person well. While she might get MAGA cred for it, it's going to be a hollow victory if she succeeds because it does nothing it doesn't advance the country it doesn't advance the republican agenda it doesn't advance anything and adam schiff is not an offensive character he's not in your grill like jim jordan or matt getz or marjorie taylor green or lauren bobert he's not in your grill like that aoc is the one who can get in your grill that's you know that's the one that drives uh, the Republicans and the MAGA people crazy. 
Schiff drives him crazy because he's really good at what he does, and he was the face of the impeachment trials. But you know, he doesn't really get the uh, the uh, blood boiling of the Trump supporters quite like AOC can do. So I think if she succeeds, it's going. I don't think she's going to succeed. But if she does succeed, it's going to be a hollow victory. I would not worry about it. And those cards all tell me that Adam Schiff is leaving anyways. And we might as well just throw real quick. Is he looking at leaving to be, will he be the senator for California? I think he will. I know Katie Porter is uh, running for that seat. And God, I'd love to have Katie Porter in there. Katie Porter is amazing. In some ways, she's even more valuable in the House than the Senate. If for no other reason, she's a blue candidate in a red county. And she barely held on to her seat, but she's amazing. I love Katie Porter. No entertainment purposes only on that one. Katie Porter is amazing. Okay. Will Adam Schiff, will he be moving on to the Senate? This, this, this really is taking a turn. Well, it looks like he's going to be sneaking off to it. God, there it is again. Yep. Yep. Weighing things, probably money uh, uh, value. Thinking about this, lying low. Star card. Yeah, he's going to sneak off. He's going to sneak out of the house and go to the Senate. It's, you know, wishes fulfilled. He'll be really good in that role. And he really wants this role. Right now, you know, he's balancing the the, the, ha the Senate and the House, which one he wants to stay in. But he's been planning about this move for a while. And he's been laying low, contemplating. It's been a very low-key campaign for him on this one. So I'm going to say yes on that one. Sorry, Katie. I'd love for you to be my senator, too. But we only have one position open. Maybe on, maybe on the next one. I'll, hell, I'll take you as president, too, if you like. Anyways, so Adam Schiff. He's he understands the situation that's going on, and he also has his eyes on a different prize. The Republicans are going to keep going after him. They want to bring him down. They probably won't succeed. If they do succeed, it'll be a hollow victory. It just it won't get him what they want, and he'll go to the Senate anyway, so it won't matter in the big picture. So that's my reading on that. Thank you again to uh, Nancy the Water Chick for your question, and. Um, Thank you for your support of my channel and uh, for your subscriptions and the comments that you throw in there, the suggestions for readings on my community page. I appreciate all the support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.